Good morning and welcome back to another TNT adventure video. This one's really exciting. Yes, we are on our way to the Dolomites. Very excited. Absolutely. Not that we haven't been in beautiful uh, mountain scenery so far. Um, and we're on very wriggly road, road so forgive me uh, concentrating on driving. Yes, very wriggly. Oh, there's a motorhome coming too. Are oh, they going to do the wave? No. Yes. And? No. <laughs> One out of two ain't bad. Um, so we're on our way to Bonzano. 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 We're going to top off our food supplies and then we are going to try and get on the Dolomite Road. Great Dolomite Road. Yeah, so we shall see you in a bit. coming down this really bendy steep road and then we've seen a couple of bikes go up and they're going up this hill at pace as well I mean gosh they must be epically fit The, the food shop in uh, Bowl Zero. Yeah. Um, we went to like um, it was like a, a big spa, and the car park is barriered. It cost us one euro thirty, but it also looks like uh, there was full of motorhomes. Yeah. So it looked like a base um, for exploring the town because it's quite big there, um, and also because I think it's kind of for most people the start of the Dolomites. Yeah. So um, but getting out of the city can be quite hard because you want to be careful that you, if you're using sat nav, for it not to take you back onto the motorway. So the road you want is the SS241, which is what we're on now. So we did quite well to stay clear of the motorway, didn't we? Yes, absolutely. That was a challenge, but we did it. Yeah, so we're heading um, to another town. Um, can't think what it's called. Fire a Lake. Can't think what that's called either. <laughs> Um, and then when we get to this town, we need to stop and reroute so we don't get took back onto the toll road. We've arrived at the first lake. Look at the view! It gets, better. it gets better. It gets better. Yeah. Tracy's just getting me a, a walking pole to assist with my dodgy ankle. The map. There we are. There she is. Hop along. Look at those colours. So this um, lady was just walking past and she was like, could you take our picture using like the universal sign language? I was like, yeah, of course. Expected her to just stand there and um, I'll take a picture. But oh no, Tracy, do we do the poses? Oh, I don't think I know what it was. It was obviously for Instagram. <laughs> <laughs> and then she kept moving her head. Hopefully I got her a good shot. <laughs> Didn't make me chuckle though. <laughs> me too. And then we tried it. <laughs> yeah, so we tried it and we just looked like fools. <laughs> Failed completely. Yeah. But never mind, look at this, isn't it stunning? And the mist just keeps moving around the lake. Yeah. With the light off. I'm going to shoot that dog though. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Unfortunately, we can't walk all the way around because of my ankle, but we've done a good little. Yeah, we've done all right. Yeah. Good, good proportion. And it's very beautiful. It is, and we're very lucky because there's not too many people here. Yeah, super quiet actually. Mm -hmm. Even the car park is really empty. Yeah. Right. So 
So the parking here is pretty good. This area is just for motorhomes and it's uh, pretty big. And it goes around to there as well. And then the top bit is for your normal size car. So we've arrived at Old Park Up. What an epic day, eh, Trace? Wow! What an amazing place. <laughs> Oof. Yeah. We've uh, we, we've driven up and down and up and down and up. Uh, my ears have popped six times today. <laughs> yeah. Just with altitude changes. Yeah. It's like roads you see in the movies, like James Bond movies, like <laughs> wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. <laughs> Pretty cool, eh? Yeah, absolutely amazing. So pleased we did it. Yeah. <sighs> Um, so this park up, I have no idea what it's called because we were kind of running later behind our schedule and it was getting dark so we just like pulled up somewhere but it does have a barrier which is up at the minute because it's out of season and there is power points which aren't on because it's out of season so by what I can gather it's free at the minute. Um, what have you? There's two other campers. So we should be in for a good night. Yep, just take my walking boots off, <laughs> get my slippers on. Get slippers on, <laughs> kettles on. Yeah. Poor Tash hasn't had tea for hours. I know. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to pass out. <laughs> Tash is homemade found chicken curry. Good morning. Today is the day. We're off to the Three Peaks. Tracy's just sorting the windows out. Uh, they've had one pass. This is the second to get rid of the condensation. Yeah, so... Um, we're doing this route slightly different, so we're missing out Lake the is it Bray? Yep. Um, and going straight to Three Peaks today. One of the reasons is um, my ankle's still not 100% for the walk around the lake. And two... You have to walk to the lake, don't you? Oh yeah, you have to walk to the lake. And two, um, today is the last sunny day. Tomorrow is overcast, so there'd be no point going up tomorrow. So we are very excited. Yes, we are. Look at the view that way. It's immense, yeah. So it's a bit chilly this morning because the sun hasn't fully come round. But yeah, we'll see you at the Three Peaks. We We're gaining altitude faster than the jet. <laughs> oh, big tunnel. Through the rock as well. Oh, cool. It's a very interesting system. Mm -hmm. You have to pay it. You put your card in, you put your number in, you fill up at the pump, and then you leave. <laughs> Not knowing, well, you know how much you put in, so hopefully they charge you that, but anyway. You need to record that for me, please. 60 euros, 35.53 litres. That's our top up before we go up to the Three Peaks. We've made it to the um, bottom of the toll road, so we're just pulling into the um, camper van car park just to empty our waste and fill up with some water, not in the tanks, but in our spare bottles. How excited are you, Trace? <laughs> I'm quite excited, actually. You can just see them up there. Whoop. Right. So we'll have this and then we'll get into the queue. <laughs> Here we go, we're off. Start of the queue. She's actually moving. Yeah. <laughs> so the queue looks um, pretty long. We're at the blue dot and the drop pin is where the um, toll gate is. But I'm prepared with two teas. So I finished this one and I've got the flask for the queue. How organized am I? Getting close. 
There's one camper, two cars to go. Oh, <laughs> the little man gives you a little thumbs up to come forward. <laughs> He's running for the twelve hours. Uh, can we? No. Okay, thank you. We're actually in third gear at the minute. Rocking up. Rocking up this hill. Oh, well done, cyclist. Yeah. We've dropped a second. I should say the the time that we're going up is it's now 12.25 the ticket lasts for 12 hours so I don't know whether we might get charged another is it an extra 15 euros if you 20. go 20 euros if you go over your time tomorrow because obviously we're staying overnight <laughs> Yeah, it's really warm. <laughs> we won't be saying that later tonight. No, I know. We're on top of the world, Trace. We certainly are, Tash. That's what the Dolomites are made of. Brilliant. It's amazing, eh? Oh, fantastic. I'm so pleased we made it. On a day like today as well. Very yeah, lucky. Very lucky. So Tash asked me to tell you something about the Dolomites. Yeah. I'm not going to look at you, I'm going to look where I'm walking. Well, as you can see, we're at the Three Peaks, the Tree Chimia, and this is a World Heritage Site, a natural World Heritage Site, and as such is protected from pot potentially more abuse than you would think. Um, it's a very well-walked um, trailhead, this, and very easy to use, easy to see. You're literally right up in the mountains and they control the number of vehicles that come up and they control the number of people who are here, which I think is essential. The road closes in November or sooner if it's not like a summer's day like it is today because you're not going to be able to negotiate that in snow. But if you're hardy and brave, you can walk up here in snowshoes or the appropriate alpine gear and in the summer you can walk up in hiking boots. It's a heck of a long way up though. So as I understand it, the Dolomites were named after a Frenchman who uh, described the very interesting geological formations. And it is utterly stunning up here on a day like today. This can't be beaten. It's an interesting churchyard as well. PSB people either buried or interned or scattered there right from the 1880s through to the latest 2009. What are you up to, Trace? I am going to put a cheese board together. Yes. <laughs> cheese board on the dollar vibes. <laughs> <laughs> Armed and dangerous. There we go. Nice. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. When in Italy, Peroni. Cheers. 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 It tastes nice. good up here. Mmm. Mmm. Yeah. Confirm. That tastes good. That tastes very good. 
just the job. <laughs> well, this is rather amazing. We're sat at the back of the camper van and enjoying a view second to none. Yes. We are very lucky. So we are up at the top of three peaks at the car park where we can stay overnight. So we are prepared. Uh, we've got the <laughs> oven on, eating pizzas, and the view out the window is just stunning. So thank you for watching the Dolomites so far. We've another few days here. So stay with us and uh, we'll show you more. Yes, because it's been beautifully hot all day, but now it's... Flipping freezing. And it's going to rain and rain and rain tomorrow. So the plan for us is to go down around about 10 o'clock-ish before the worst of the rain comes. Yeah. So we would definitely advise if you're going to spend the money to come up here, you need to make sure it's a, a clear day. Otherwise, you probably just see... Mist. <laughs> Mist, yeah. So you need to check your weather forecast. Right. Cheerio. Over. See you soon. Good morning. Good morning. From Tree Chima. Yep. The Three Peaks. Look at this. Now you can't see them, which is why people say don't come here if it, the clouds dropping. When we first got up this morning, you could see all the tops, but forgive the wobbly filming, <laughs> as you can see. We have no tops now. And it's just starting to drizzle because we're in the cloud. Yeah. And it's quite chilly up here, as you can tell. <laughs> so we shall see you down at the bottom. Yeah. In fact, uh, yeah, we we film coming up. I don't think there'd be much point in filming going down. No. Which is much the same in reverse. More <laughs> more brake action than gear action. <laughs> <laughs> Well, we made it down just before it started to rain heavily, so I'm relieved about that because it's very slippery around those beds. Yeah, it's belting it down. <laughs> so we're just in the um, motorhome parking at the bottom. Um, we're resting the brakes. Yeah, yeah. It's, on, a, on a cold day like this, I think it's less of an issue, but it's good to give the van a little bit of rest because uh, I came down mostly in second, uh, braking quite a lot of the time, you know, just little pulse. Braking just to uh, to make sure we didn't overheat the brakes because it's quite a big vehicle to slow down. Um, but no, it performed absolutely brilliantly. I'm really really pleased yeah, with the way the van performed. Yeah, um, I don't know whether I said before the cost for a motorhome camper van is 45 euros and the cost for a vehicle is 30 euros. Um, I can't remember for a motorcycle. Can you? No, no. But, um, but yeah, worth every penny. <laughs> <laughs> So we're still in the Dolomites, we haven't filmed for the last couple of days as we've been at a campsite so I could rest up my ankle as if you've watched the previous video you'll know that I twisted it slash sprained it so it's like 90% better isn't it Trace? It is, yes, so we can go and do some more stuff Yep, so now we're going to head to Largo the Braze Yes um, and go and have a look around there, so we'll see you in a bit So we've arrived at Lego de Braze. <laughs> and it's already looks really cool. Yeah, it does. Tracy's just getting a flask ready for our walk. Yeah, so you get charged 35 euros, even if you're just gonna stay for a few hours. So it makes sense to stay for the full 24 hours. So we're gonna stay the full night. There's a car park next to us, number three, which has got motorhomes in. So that might be cheaper, I'm not sure. Quite, quite 
<laughs> it is utterly stunning. Yes, there's no words. <laughs> it's just, <laughs> wow. Yeah, I'm so lucky to be here. Extremely lucky. The wall round's taken us ages because you have to just keep stopping <laughs> and, and looking. <laughs> it's so beautiful, eh, Trace? It is absolutely lovely. It's the azure water against the pop of the autumn colours. And then you get the Dolomites mountains themselves just popping out of that sort of gum line of trees. And they are just beautifully crystalline white when the sun comes out. But today it's still beautiful because the clouds are just masking the tops and then every now and again peeking out and you can see the top. Love it. <laughs> now this is a good little lunch stop. Mm. Well we'll have lunch later, we're having chocolate now. Oh yeah, can I have a piece? Of course you can. I'll put cut you a fora. Mm. Only the best Cadbury's Ooh. milk chocolate. Thank you very much. It's just incredible, isn't it? Because the light keeps changing, so the lake's gone from azure to that fantastic reflective lake. There are very few rowboats on it at the moment. And you can just pick up these fantastic abstract shapes in the rock formation. So you've just seen the scree forming a V and in the reflection it forms an arrow which echoes the trees. It's just wonderful. That's a rather nice spot for a cup of tea. It is. You should see what we're looking at. I'll, I'll spin you around in a minute so you can see as well. It's beautiful. There are little patches of blue sky. So that the high clouds up that way. Which are just cloaking the tops of the peaks. Oh, I'll spin you around. That way, to the left, you've got a wonderful reflection. Yeah, sure. <laughs> wonderful reflections. Yashbashtibishtibu. <laughs> This is your perfect tea spot. So every corner you go around, it's just, you, you get more am amazed, don't you? It's, yes. it's really hard to describe how beautiful it is. And the lake colours, they change in different parts, don't they? They do, yeah. It's really spectacular. You can see why this is such a must-see spot in the Dolomites. Yeah. And I think we're here at a time where there are fewer people than normal. So it's a lot quieter. And yeah, there are just moments just to be here. It's rather lovely. And just look at the different colours. Isn't that fantastic? And of course, Tash is very happy because we found all these tea spots. The perfect tea spot. Yeah, I thought the last one was perfect, this but now this one beats it. <laughs> Will there be any more? <laughs> well, I'm going to run out of tea. <laughs> it's desperate. <laughs> perfect. <laughs> So we're coming to the end of our walk, you turn a corner and again, just wow. <laughs> yeah. So there are three little phrases here. I think the bottom one is a, a psalm, which I can't translate. And I think the other two are parts of poetry. So 
So people have left rosaries, offerings, probably asking people to pray for the people in the uh, yeah. photographs. There's money there. Yes, there is, to, uh, to the Virgin Mary. So this is a really strong, long standing tradition from the medieval period to present. Mm. There we go. Good <laughs> <laughs> of you. Yeah. It's not bad, is it? Thanks, Trace. You have the perfect lunch time for you. <laughs> well, it's more like mid afternoon, isn't it now? Mm -hmm. Just saying to Trace, it'd be nice having a balcony up there in that posh hotel. <laughs> <laughs> We've got a good camper van. Yeah, that's our posh hotel. <laughs> Bino's all on his own, apart from that one there. <laughs> We're all gone. Yeah. That suits us. So we popped back to the van for a cup of tea, um, and then we thought, oh, we'll come back out and have another beer in front of the lake. Yeah. Because look at the view. It's lovely, isn't it? Yeah. Nice German beer as well. Yeah. Um, and then when we were at the van, we were just trying to suss out the parking thing. Um, so the, by what we understand is we parked in P, P4, which when I researched it was the only motorhome parking. And that's 35 euros for 24 hours, which I think I, I said before. But then when we were walking around the car park next to us, P3, which had motorhomes in as well, um, I think, so it was, did I say 10 or 11 euros? 11. 11 euros. But usually it's got a barrier going across for 2.2 metres and the barrier had been moved out of the way. Yeah. And what we think is that that car park might belong to one of the restaurants. Yeah. So because the restaurant is shut, they've left the car park barrier open. Mm -hmm. So people are parking there for free because there's nowhere to pay. Yeah. So that feels a little bit... But having said that, at least we know we're in the right place. And if the barriers do get closed for some reason, we would be a little bit... Yeah. Challenged. Yeah. So I think the way to look at it is um, the, the car park we're in is nice and secure. It's got barriers and there was even a chap patrolling it. Um, yeah, and it's just one of them things, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Yeah. Say lovey. Say lovey. <laughs> no Cheers. more wine for us for a week. <laughs> you say that. <laughs> but it'll be back on the agenda tomorrow. <laughs> I would imagine so. <laughs> Sante. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning. Morning. Seven o'clock. We're off to see the sunrise. Bit misty at the tops, but we'll give it a go. Yeah. But the car park's already filling up, so people do get here early, but we're excited. So we're just walking round to the, the right of the lake. Get our spot. <laughs> <laughs> you warm, Trace? Uh, yes, thank you. I'm nicely toasty. <laughs> Talk about perfect morning walks. Oh gosh, it's amazing, isn't it? Yeah. And it's completely still. We've got a mirror-like lake, which is just stunning. Yeah. And we did see the sunrise this morning, not as an orb, but in a cloud colour. Yeah. So this morning we've walked one side <clears throat> of the lake. Um, and it does pay well to do it early because we've only seen one other person. Well, two other people and a little dog. And a little whifty. <clears throat> who had a little poo right next to us. <laughs> oh, if you do the walk around the, the lake, as you come in, you can go right to left or left round to the right. The easiest walk is going left, which is the way we happen to go. Yep. Um, Cause the stairs coming down when you go from the left are quite steep. So if you're walking up them, it'd be harder if you're the other way. Um, and if you're hard of... If you're mobility impaired. Yeah, you could probably, so you would be better going right and then just to the top of the lake and yeah. then you can turn around. Um, and there's some nice beaches and uh, picnic benches. Yeah, and there's also two toilets there. Yeah, that's that's really good, isn't yeah. it? Good morning. Morning. So that's us leaving Lago de Bray. So we had a lovely 
uh, walk first thing this morning, didn't we? Oh, it was stunning, as yeah. always. We were hoping to catch the sunrise, but it was still too overcast, eh? Yeah. Um, so now we're leaving the Dolomites area. We're heading south into Italy. Um, so that's the plan, the next plan. Um, we hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, feel free to subscribe. Click, that would be lovely. Yeah, clicky and bell stuff. <laughs> that's, um, that's technical the guidance going on. Yeah. yeah. And we hope to see you in another video. Which will still be in the north of France, heading towards Trieste. North of France? Where are you going? Oh, I mean north of Italy. <laughs> oh, it's been a long, short day. <laughs> right, we'll see you later. See ya.